If you enjoy the music of Barry Manilow, Liberace, or the Bee Gees, then you're going to hate Guar. Their name is Guar, and Guar, the band from hell. That band, Guar, has got to be the raunchiest, most rotten band. They are the worst. Basically, they're barbarian interplanetary warriors who play heavy metal music and shoot various bodily fluids all over the audience. Guar was a big, violent, sexual, theatrical rock show. It's performance art, but it's also, it's this performance art that doesn't take itself seriously. They were the scum dogs of the universe, banished to the shittiest planet they could come to. Is that, that's the thing? Your act has been described as obscene and disgusting. What do you say to that? Mm, very accurate. What you're not seeing is what's going on behind that stage that's making this whole show work, and it's people frantically working their asses off the whole time. It's an artist collective. War is a group of people that are determined to make art together. And they make everything themselves. When something needs to be done, they just pick it up and get it done. War has never been famous, but we've had these little nibbles of fame. Alice in Wonderland gets nominated for a Grammy and we just all thinking, man, somebody really fucked up. We're going to start making movies and comics and we're going to be a punk rock Disney. But it's also where it, it all fell apart to a degree. It was a little bit destructive. I just didn't see the story having a happy ending. Chaos has been what's made this band move forward. You don't do Guar because you want to get famous. You do Guar because you fucking love it. It's like the world needs a Guar. It was a joke, and we just kept going with it. It's like jokes on everyone else now, 30 years later, you know? It's a joke with no punchline. Most amazing cataclysmic rock and roll event of the century, ladies and gentlemen. This is Guar.